And welcome to Science Times Rhymes, where each Wednesday we turn songs into hot fire. I'm back from VidCon, which means I get to hang out with Jane Reynolds, who I last saw at a puberty-themed concert. I guess that's sort of science-related, too. It very much is. And it's Inside Out related, which was our theme two weeks ago. Temperamental like adolescent development. Cooperation and competition are at the heart of the most interesting themes in human existence. An article in this week's New York Times called Cellular Cheaters Give Rise to Cancer explores their role in biology. As you remember from Too Late to Apoptize. And it's too late to apoptize. Cells evolved as single cells competing with each other and the transition to multicellular organisms, which happened several times in evolutionary history, meant that cells could cooperate and specialize as long as a small group got to pass their genes on to the next generation. But there's always a lurking threat that a cell will mutate and revert to its reproductive hungry ways. Us cells, we stick together. We do. We've got a common goal. That's right. We sacrifice a little so the organism's whole. Oh, that's all out the window. Adios. When a maverick cell decides to cheat its way on back to that unicellular life. Most cells on planet Earth, on Earth are single solitary. But dogs and cats and cacti things can get a little hairy. Yeah, cheaters sometimes prosper, but they can never win. When they trade cooperation for competition. It's not just in us humans, nope. it's not just in lab mice, it's in hydras and in coral, it's in plants and in fungi. Oh, we've got a lot of questions, but we're slowly finding answers. Cause these cheaters are the key to understanding cancer. Up top, Jane. In the article, George Johnson writes, no wonder cancer has become a metaphor for human excess. Overpopulation and consumption, environmental pollution, the concentration of resources among a hyper-acquisitive 1%. I love biological metaphors, and this is one that always comes up, so I would love to hear what you guys think of that particular metaphor and how it holds up. For last week's Finish the Rhyme, I'm giving a chicken, a volcano, and a shooting star type of thing to chase for Lithronexagestes is the king of gore. He hung with all his besties. Hey, what's that? Ah, a meteor. Double rhyme points, bravo. This week on Finish the Rhyme. It's the tragedy of the commons on a microscopic scale. Huge thanks to Jane for being here, and we'll see you guys next week. In comes the science of emotion. Surprise, they organize our rational things. Cell cycle breaks, but I can't respond. No 